So I'm a little, um, I wouldn't say superstitious, but I feel like giving hitters any kind of like any extra uh, things to see on a baseball is kind of like not cheating, but like there shouldn't be writing on a baseball. <laughs> um, so like for a right-hander, I, I always turn the label where Manfred signs away from the hitter. And so like for a righty, I pitch four seam with my fingers together and then uh, the label is like on the outside of the ball. So when it's spinning and it's coming in, they're not getting that extra blue uh, to see. And for a lefty, it's just the opposite. Oh, uh, so, yes. you, so you switch it based on the, on the hitter, is that right? On the handedness of the hitter, yeah. Because I mean, this uh, lefty can see that. I'm convinced that they can see it. I have never heard that. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, like, why else would they put the blue on the baseball? <laughs> right. I mean, I think they should totally be white, as absolutely, yeah. so hitters can't pick up anything. Exactly. That's that's my thing. So, yeah, I turn it away from the handedness of the hitter. Um, and then my slider. One, two. Struck him out again, that slider. I throw with the label behind it um, always. And it's a little bit of a different grip. So I like to feel my um this first knuckle on on the seam and so it's almost like a cutter i guess how yep. a lot of guys would throw their cutter um but my, the way i throw it i feel like i try to i mean it's impossible to do this but i try to feel like i'm getting like over top of the baseball like almost like i'm uh like trying to pull it back to me and i feel like i like have pretty good wrists movement to where like i'm able to get a little bit of that and you know some for some reason the way it comes out it comes out um gyro um so it has that gyro spin the like it being shot out of a out of a gun or whatever so that's how it gets the break that it that it does even with having maybe subpar numbers so you're you're not a big uh horizontal break guy we were, i was just uh showing manoa's slider who's got a huge horizontal break to yeah. it uh, but you're, I mean, a gyro spot for folks that don't know, a gyro spin pitch is more like a bullet and will drop more straight down, which is a very useful, like, it just has to work with your other pitches. It doesn't matter if it has a big horizontal break, if hitters can pick it up and hit it or take it. Um, yeah. So you're talking about a pure bullet, a more bullet spin stuff. You're not gonna get the ridiculous horizontal, but you're going to get nice vertical drop on it. Right. And then, uh, my other two pitches that I throw, I throw just like a traditional curve. Just um, getting to the front of it, just a... Yeah, so, um, you know, I learned a little something from Zach Greinke. You know, he throws his like an ephus, and, you know, he's just telling me, try to throw it as slow as you can. Um, you and, he, and I was, I just asked him, I was like, well, what, like, a hitter's going to see that your mechanics are different. He's like, it's going to be going so, it's going to look so different that the hitter's going to just shut down most of the time. And that's what happened is like, I would throw it in like the low seventies or whereas I used to throw it super hard, like mid eighties. And, um, I get it down in low seventies, sometimes, uh, like 68, right around there. And a lot of the times the hitter, even if it was right down the middle, the hitter would just shut down. And so for me, like I would try to slow down as much as I could, because I was like, you know what? if he hits this, there's no way it's going anywhere because it's going so slow. And if and I, I feel like I gave up maybe like two or three hits on it and they were all either singles and there was no damage on it. And so uh, for me, it was like, okay, just because it looks different coming out of my hand, different release point, different mechanics, slowed way down, I, was, I still had success with it. Interesting, because like most guys will say you want, again, we talked about the importance of consistency of release point, but hitters aren't robots. And if, and if they're, you know, 98 coming at you, you've got to be ready. And even if you said here, here's a slow curve, it might be tough to hit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're geared up so much for hard. I think that's where it comes into play is it's like fastball and slider are both hard. And they know that that's like my go, those two are my go-to. And so if I just like flip something in there, it just kind of like throws them off and they freeze. So, and, and then change up grip will. Uh... Yeah. So I throw like a, I don't even know what you would call it. I mean, just kind like of circle a, with circle change. Yeah. 
like four seam change. I've, I've messed with grips, but I feel like this is the one that kind of just allows it to look like my four seam and just kind of die a little bit. So you're not pronating, you're not doing anything, you're just throwing like a fastball? Uh, maybe a little bit of pull with this uh, index finger. So like just trying to pull it that way a little bit, but not like super pronating with it.